Hi friends and welcome to the video. If you haven't seen my face before, hello, I'm Olivia, and as you can see behind me, I am a perfume enthusiast. And today, we are going to be talking about the 10 best fragrances for women for every day. And if you're a returning friend, make sure that you guys subscribe and you've hit the notification bell so that way you know every Saturday that I have a new upload. And if you really wanna get chatting, add me on Instagram or TikTok. I post every single day short videos that are different from the videos here. So without further ado, let's get into the list of the 10 best fragrances for women for every day. Now I'm not doing these in any particular order because everyone has a different palette of what they wanna smell like every day. So I tried to get a good variety so that way you guys can find something perfect for you. First, we're gonna start off with a new brand. It's called Five Cents, and this is called Life of the Party. This is gonna be perfect for those of you who like a sweet, fruity floral, something that's a little bit almost like shampoo-y. It's fun, it's girly, it's bright, and it's a very, very easy reach. This has black currant and jasmine, and the black currant gives it a little bit of sweet, but also a little bit of tanginess, so it's very refreshing. So if you like things like Valentino Donna Born in Roma, you would probably like something like this. And for something on the very affordable side, this is Silver Moon by Pacifica, and you can get these at Target for $22. The way I describe this is this smells like an almond Danish. It's got almond, it's got spice, it's got vanilla, but it is not thick and it's not heavy, so you don't have to wait till winter weather to wear something like this. It's a little bit sweet, a little bit gourmand, but still grounded out with the nuttiness of the almond that makes this perfect for gourmand lovers who are looking for something for every day. Next is Juliet Has a Gun Lipstick Fever. If you guys have not smelled this, you are missing out. I absolutely adore this fragrance. It smells like old-fashioned lipstick made modern. It has that beautiful powdery scent to it, but in the background, it has this warm, strong ambroxan that as it dries down, it's a little bit fruity in the beginning, but it goes into this beautiful skin scent with a bit of powderiness and it is just so special. I know that this one isn't super popular from the house, but it is an absolute banger. So if you like those lipsticky, cosmetic-y type scents, Lipstick Fever by Juliet has a gun. Now this one is my favorite out of the house of Skylar. This is called Salt Air, and this smells like the breeze off of the ocean. It's a little bit woody, a little bit salty, and it almost smells like clean linen. So if you're that fresh gal that just wants to smell clean, doesn't really want to smell like perfumey, this one is the perfect one. And like I said, this is the best out of the house of Skylar. Santal Vani by the House of Seven Virtues is almost like a feminine version of Santal 33 from Le Labo, but Santal 33 is incredibly expensive. And as a lot of people have said, it has almost like a pickle juice type scent on them. Personally, I don't pick that up, but I can say that with the addition of vanilla in this, you get that dry sandalwood, but then you get a warm vanilla that makes this a perfectly unisex type fragrance. So if you're somebody who doesn't want to smell super feminine or super masculine, but you want something a little woody and a little sweet, Santal Vanille by Seven Virtues is a great choice. Now you guys already knew this one was gonna be on here. This is Missing Person from Fleur. This is a white musk fragrance, and this just smells like clean skin, straight out of a bubble bath. It doesn't have a laundry detergent type smell, it smells like actual clean skin. So if you work in an environment where you can't wear fragrances, or you're not supposed to, or perhaps you have sensitivities, Missing Person by Fleur is going to be perfect for you. Now, if you wanna smell sweet, simple, and delicious, the ever popular Vanilla by Kayali. This is worth the hype. It is a simple baker's vanilla. It is sweet, it's gourmand, but it's not heavy. And this layers with absolutely everything. A good staple vanilla. If you're looking for something just simple, easy, sweet, this one, fantastic. Now, if you're like me and you like something a little tangy, a little citrusy, a little refreshing, this is Red Dakota by Dead Cool. If you ever wore Light Blue by Dolce & Gabbana, this kind of reminds me 
along the similar range of that. It is citrusy and bright. I mean, this is a photorealistic lemon peel in the beginning. As this dries down, it has this beautiful, unique woodiness, just like Light Blue by Dolce & Gabbana. It is a little bit unisex. That is very fresh and uplifting, and this would be perfect for every day if you live in a hot environment, that you need something that's a little bit refreshing, a little bit tangy, a little bit citrusy. If you like that, clean, squeaky, clean type scent, this is perfect. Now, if you like something that's a little bit smoky, a little bit earthy, but isn't going to be thick and dark and overbearing, something that's a little bit sheer, that's better for every day, Show Pony by Sniff is a beautiful, earthy, warm, slightly sweet fragrance that is perfect for every day and is also very, very unisex. And this is a brand new one that I just got sent, and this is from the brand Good Chemistry. You can also find this one at Target for very inexpensive, and it's called Coffee Cloud. And it's funny that it's called Coffee Cloud because Ariana Grande's Cloud, if you were to add a little bit of a coffee note to it, that's what this smells like. It's got that sweet, fluffy airiness, but then it has this lovely, smooth, almost latte-like coffee. Don't think of a bitter black coffee. This is sheer, it's very, very easy to wear, but there's a little bit of fruitiness in the beginning that kind of reminds me of Perfect by Marc Jacobs. That only sticks around for like 15 minutes, but those are two fragrances that I really enjoy. Imagine those put together and then you add coffee. It's amazing. So that's it guys, we're keeping it short, sweet, and simple today. So if you like videos like this, make sure that you subscribe and you follow me on social media so that way we can chit chat. And tune in next week for a brand new video I post every Saturday, 10 a.m. PST. Bye.